welcome to Touch Em All, your go-to weekly MLB digest from Sports Not. I'm here to keep you up to date on all things baseball as we slide into the final stretch of the season. Buckle up, it's about to get crazy. All right, baseball fans, September is here, and you know what that means, playoff season is upon us. Let's break down the 2024 MLB playoff picture. Spoiler alert, it's a hot mess, and I love it. Right now, if the season ended today, the Yankees and Guardians would snag the buys in the AL, while over in the NL, the Dodgers and Phillies could be chilling with their feet up in the first round. Meanwhile, everyone else is scrambling for those wild card spots like it's kids at a pinata party. In the American League, the Astros would be duking it out with the Twins, while the Orioles and Royals would be having a Royal Rumble of their own. As for the National League, the Brewers would face off against the Braves, and the D-backs would be battling the Padres in what I can only assume would be a cactus-filled showdown. Now that's some good TV. Speaking of drama, the Phillies and Braves are squaring off in a crucial four-game series this weekend. The Phillies have a five-game lead, and the Braves need a miracle, or at least a sweep, to stay in the hunt. This series is more intense than a Philly cheesesteak eating contest, and trust me, I've seen some wild ones. The Phillies are showing signs of life after a mid-season slump. Bryce Harper is back to being less terrible, which, let's be honest, is good news for Phillies fans. But the Braves, they're still looking to clinch that season series tiebreaker, and they've got rookie phenom Spencer Schwellenbach on the mound Sunday. This kid's ERA has dropped faster than my GPA in high school, and he's looking to keep it that way. The Dodgers, these guys are hotter than a summer in Death Valley. They just took a series against the Orioles and are now four games up in the NL West. And let's not forget, they're heading to Arizona to face the D-backs in a showdown that's basically a spaghetti Western, minus the spaghetti, but plus a lot of sunflower seeds. Dave Roberts isn't sweating it though. He's managing like it's just another day in Dodger Town. Freddie Freeman's resting up his fractured finger, and the Dodgers are playing musical chairs with their batting order. But guess what? They just became the first team to hit 80 wins. Last but not least, it's waiver wire time, baby. With the deadline looming, teams are throwing players on waivers like Oprah giving out cars. You get a waiver. You get a waiver. Who's on the block? Tommy Pham from the Cardinals, Taylor Rogers, and Tyler Matzik from the Giants and a few more surprises. It's like a game of hot potato, but with multi-million dollar contracts. The question is, who will get picked up and who will get left on the curb? All right, that is it for this week's Touch Em All. Will the Phillies hold off the Braves? Can the Dodgers keep their streak alive? And who's going where in the waiver wire madness? Stay tuned here, right to sportsnot.com and we'll keep you posted. Until next time, keep your eye on the ball and your snacks within reach because this ride isn't over yet.